This is Big Poppy Racing. Welcome to the 2019 Diecast Games. This is round one of the last event, the Fat Track Free For All. We're using a very simple track. We have a straightaway that goes into a 90 degree, then a small straightaway into another 90 degree, and then a downhill descent into the finish line. As you can see, everything has been secured and fastened so the track will not move. All the rough areas have been smoothed. There are some challenges, however. It'll start like this. We'll have two to three cars, depending on the bracket. They'll start down the track. This is an elimination tournament. So the way it's gonna work is the first car that finishes will be first, second car second, and so on. If, as you can see in this case, this car would be the first place finisher. We'll go back to the track if only one finishes. Second place finisher still on his wheels and the car that came off the track is disqualified. If you turn over on the track, you are disqualified. In this case, there would be a race off between the car that finished first and the car still on its wheels in second. The resulting race will determine who will move on in the first round. And this car, the car that finishes first, is the one that's going to move to the next round. Here's our cars. Every car in the competition is being used, 66 cars. You can see we're broke into three different brackets. So let's get this started with the AMC bracket. Brackets laid out as you see here. Our first entries will be the Johnny Lightning Indy car of 3D Botmaker, Diecast 64's Camaro Z28, and League of Speeds Ford F-150. Here's the first race. Even down the track, Z28 goes to the top. Comes right. Oh, he not. Oh, he takes the Indy car off the track. The Z28 will finish in first. The Ford F-150 in second. You can see here that him and the Indy car are tangling up. And when he comes out of that second curve, he basically just sticks his snout under him and throws him off the track. So we'll go to the elimination heat. The winner advances. Down the track they go, even. The Z28 is going to get the high curve and come off of it. Both cars will complete. If he can hold it together, he will finish and advance. Our next race is between Mr. Mom's front running Fairmont, the current points leader, Diecast Racer X Firebird Funny Car, and Red Pill Racing's Matchbox Firebird. Here's the first race. The heavy car is in the middle, of course, that funny car, but the front-running Fairmont gets in front, and he will take the lead if he can hold it. He's back and forth on the track, but he will finish first. The T-Rex funny car finishes second, and the Firebird from Matchbox third, so the second heat for elimination. Lanes are changed. The fair-running Fairmont gets out in front, takes the high road all the way around, and he will complete the race and advance to the next round. Next up, we've got a buy, but we're dealing with MDG's T-Bird Stalker and Big Poppy Racing's Corvette Stingray. The Stalker is much heavier than the Corvette. Let's see if he tries to manhandle him in the curve. Off they go. He's gonna take the lead, doesn't have to worry about it. They get crossed up through the, both of them have problems. Uh, the Stalker was off the track and now the Corvette's pushing him down at this case if he finishes, which they will not, but both on their wheels, if he had finished, he would have pushed the Stalker across. So we got a rerun. Same lanes. Here we go again. Starts out just like last race. The Stalker takes the early lead, goes into the curves high, comes around, and he will come off and holding it together, pass the finish line backwards, and win to advance. So here's your AMC bracket champions that will move on to the next round. The brackets look like this. And as we finish with the AMC bracket, we go to the Buick bracket. We have a buy in this bracket, so the first race will only have two cars. As you can see how the bracket is laid out, let's look at the cars. First, Hot Wheel Racer Mike's sidekick. 
against Nero 62's Chevy Silverado. This will be a one race. They go into the curve, even. Nose to nose, the Chevy Silverado takes the lead and will finish first and move on to round two. Next up, Mr. Mom's Flash Sider, Diecast 64's Pontiac Stock Car and Diecast Racer X Ford F-150. As we get ready to start the race, and they are off. Flash Sider on the inside. He's going to have the early lead up around the corner. All the cars successfully negotiate, and they're not moving beyond turn two. Nobody finishes. We got a rerun, folks. So here we go again. The same lineup in the same positions. Again, the Flash Sider's on the inside. He takes the early lead, pushes the car out, and he will negotiate the curve, hold it together, coming downhill, and advance to the next round. Race three in the bracket. League of Speeds 67 Mustang, Big Poppy's Jaguar XJ220, and Red Pill Racing's King Kenny Funny Car. Funny Car's on the outside, heaviest car by far. Pretty much head nose to nose through the first curve. They're breaking up a little bit. It looks like the Mustang will advance on. He's gonna hit first. King Kenny's gonna finish second. And the Jaguar has been eliminated. If you take a look at this, King, Con King Kenny funny car just plowed through the, uh, the Jaguar, Big Poppy's Jaguar, kicking it upside down and they'll finish second. So we go to heat two for the elimination. The funny car this time on the inside kicks out, but the Mustang is ahead. That comes down to, oh no, what? Oh, oh goodness. The funny car will win. The League of Speed had 67 Mustang had the lead. Look at the slow motion bouncing back and forth just over, over the edge of the track, off of the track, and allows the funny car to finish and advance. So here's our second group of cars advancing and this will be the first race in their next round. So this is what their bracket looks like as they finish. You can see the Silverado, the Flash Sider, and then the King Kenny Funny Car. Next up, the Chevrolet bracket. This bracket has a, a buy in the middle. As you can see the cars that are laid out here, let's take a look at the first race. MDG's Ford GT, 3D Bot Maker's T-Bird Stalker, and Hot Wheel Racer Mike's Soul Air. Unfortunately, due to a camera malfunction, which is code for Big Poppy, did not hit the record button. The MDG placed first, Hot Wheel Racer Mike's Soul Air was second, and 3D Bot Maker's car, stock car was third and was eliminated in the first race. We pick up the racing in the elimination heat or heat two. It'll be the GT against the Solaire, and they start down the track. The GT has the advantage, comes around the curve. He is coming down, oh, he's lost control. The Solaire gets past him. MDG had the Ford GT in the lead, but could not control himself coming down the hill. Next up, Nero 62's Rally Cat and Nick Deaver's Exide Stock Car. This will be a one heat race, the winner advances. Cars are even into the turn. Come around, the Rally Cat uses the, the corner and takes the advantage, and he will finish first and advance over the stock car. Race three, Diecast 64 is way too fast. Diecast Racer X is T-Bird Stalker and League of Speeds, Firebird Funny Car. And the race is off. They start down the straightaway. The tangle in the first curve. The funny car comes out and advance down the track. He's running off and leap. Oh, he's lost control down the track. Here comes the Diecast Racer X. Stock car has knocked League of Speed off the runway before he crosses the finish line, eliminating the car. And goodness gracious, folks, carrying us to the next race. Here's the elimination round, the way too fast and the stalker into the curve. Again, the stalker gets first. 
comes down and he loses it on the hill coming out of curve two the way too fast of diecast 64 will win and will advance so here's our second group of cars coming out of the second set of brackets here are the brackets to show you so these three cars will be against each other in round two and here is the entire first division from right to left, Alpha, or your AMC, your Buick, and your Chevrolet. Now let's look at the Dodge bracket. There will only be two brackets in the middle bracket. We'll have a lottery draw for the third position later. So uh, Mr. Mom's Classic Cobra, Big Poppy's Drop Top, and Red Pill Racing's Kool-Aid Stalker. Folks, this is the race. Three heavy cars three competitive cars into the first turn they mix it up the stock car or the kool-aid stock car comes out in first and he will finish so there'll be a second no wait wait he's still moving mr mom's classic cobra has come from almost a dead stop and finished second so we go to an elimination heat drop top is out so now the classic cobra and the kool-aid stalker head to head into the last elimination round. Around the corner, the Classic Cobra takes the lead, the Kool-Aid Stalker second, the Cobra's gonna hold it together, and the Cobra is going to advance, eliminating the Kool-Aid Stalker. Our next race, the 3D not so funny car, Nick Deaver's sidekick and Nero 6271 Dodge Charger. Here they go, the two heavy cars on the inside this time. The sidekick takes an early lead, goes through the curve, does negotiate it well, and he will come down looking to win first. It's going to be between the Charger and the funny car. The Charger will take second and go into the elimination round. Winner of this will advance. Sidekick is in the middle or the outside lane with only two cars. They go into the curve. Nick Deaver's car just sort of noses him out, and now it's just going to be a race for the finish line. And the sidekick of Nick Deavers will move to the second round. Our last race in the bracket. Hot Wheel Racer Mike's Flash Cider, MDG's Roger Dodger 2.0, and Docast Racer X in the Turbulence. They start down the track. The Flash Cider takes the early lead. He goes into the corner, noses them out. And if he can hold it together down the track, he will win. No one else will finish, and he will go to round two. So here's the Dodge bracket finishers that will be racing each other in the next round. Look at it on the bracket, it looks like this. The Classic Cobra, the Sidekick, and the Flash Sider. Each get two points for the finish in this round. Let's look at the Edsel bracket. Taking a look, you can see the lineup of the cars. We'll have three come from here. Our first race, the League of Speeds, Lumina Stock Car, Nero 62's Dodge Stock Car, and Diecast Racer X's 2011 Indy Car. Here's our first race. The stock car has the inside lane. He is the heavy in this group and he does take the lead. He goes to the outside immediately before the curve. He is able to take the lead of, from the Indy car. Now they're gonna race all the way down and these two cars, the stock car, the Lumina stock car and the Indy car advance. This is the elimination race. Into the corner again, he takes the high road and comes around, negotiates if he can hold it together, he will advance and he does. Our next race, Mr. Mom's Honda Civic, Hot Wheel Racer Mike's Firebird Funny Car, and Nick Deaver's Studebaker Pickup. This should be an interesting race. Down the track they go. It looks like the Honda Civic takes an early lead. He gets nosed out at the corner. Hey, the, the pickup, the Studebaker Pickup will finish. He will place first, and no one else will finish, so he advances. Next up, 3D's Ford F-150, MDG's Shelby Super Snake, and Big Poppy's IROC Firebird. 
They go into the corner. Their Firebird gets squeezed out. It looks like the Super Snake is going to... Nope, nope. The F1... Nope. Folks, the Super Snake and the F-150, nose to nose, they will go in this heat for elimination. This time, the Super Snake jumps out ahead like last, and can he hold it together? He will, and the Super Snake of MDG will advance to the next round. So here's what this group of cars look like. This will be the second round race. Here's the bracket as we show you how that appears. So this is coming out of the bracket, Etzel bracket. Next up, the forward bracket. Remember, all these positions were drawn before cars were received by entry number. So that's why you're seeing nobody face themselves in the first round. This first race, Stackhouse 64's Firebird Funny Car, Nick Deaver's Buick Funny Car, and Red Pill Racing's Carbonite. The Carbonite currently in second. This is a heavy race, folks. These are all heavy cars. They're into the first. Oh, the Carbonite's been pushed off. He's just been outgunned with the other two on the inside. The Firebird Funny Car will win first. As you can see here in the replay, he just gets double teamed, undercut by the Firebird, and he leaves the track. The other car also turns upside down, allowing the Firebird to come past, and he will advance. Next up, the League of Speed's Ferrari F140, Nero's Mustang Funny Car, and Big Poppy Racing's Mustang Funny Car. Folks, this could be ugly. The Ferrari just not performing this race at all. Two heavies on the outside, here we go. They take the lead into the corner, muscle around with each other. The F140's in second. Look, folks, look at here, the F140 has passed both funny cars he will win no one else will finish which means the f40 ferrari of league of speed advances to the next round take a look at this the funny cars mixing it up before they even get to the first curve the ferrari laying back he gets around the big poppies car matter of fact he actually pushes big poppies car off the track comes around the second curve Nero's funny car had already turned over because of weight issues on that second curve, and the F40 does finish and move on. The last race, Michael's Dacast Garage F150 against Dacast Racer X's Mercury Cougar. This being a two-car heat, there will only be one race. Finisher advances. They get ready to start. They're down the trick, neck and neck. Who gets to the first curve? It looks like the Mercury Cougar is going to negotiate and win the race advancing into the next round. So these are the three winners that will meet in the next round. You should look at them. We'll go to the brackets and show you what the brackets look like. The F40 League of Speed. Who would have thought it? But he's right there in the thick of things. Let's look at our next bracket. It's the GMC bracket. You can see we have a buy at the bottom. And let's look at the racers. Our first race in this bracket, 3D Bot Maker's Sidekick, Hot Wheel Racer Mike's Mustang, and Diecast 64's 56 Flash Cider. And we start the race. This ought to be an interesting race. Sidekick takes the early lead. They go in, they squeeze the Mustang out, so the flash sider comes around, and second comes the sidekick, and he, uh, the sidekick's not gonna make it, folks. Where's the Mustang? There comes the Mustang. The Mustang finishes for the second spot, so we go through elimination of the flash sider against the Mustang. The 3D butt maker sidekick just not able to get down the hill. They go around, the Mustang takes the lead around, and he comes around, if he can hold it together, he will advance. And Hot Wheel Racer Mike and his Mustang move on to the second round. Next up, Mr. Mom's Way Too Fast, Nick Deaver's Corvette Stingray, and Red Pill Racing's 50th Anniversary F-150. This ought to be a good race too, here we go. What am I talking about? They've all been pretty good races. The F-150 is looking to get into the corner first. He does, gets pushed sideways, 
And here comes the Corvette. The Corvette will come out in first. If he can hold it together, he does finish first. Is anybody else coming? They are not. So the Corvette Stingray of Nick Devers will move on. Our next race, the League of Speeds Sidekick versus Nero 62's F Ferrari F40. Or F40 won the last race. Let's see what happens here. Now the League of Speed sidekick takes the early lead. If he can negotiate this, he will complete and finish the run to advance, he does, to the next round. So here's what your next round of cars are gonna look like out of this bracket. Ought to be a really good race. Here's the brackets as they're shown for you, just to give you a visual of things. Second round will be next week, as, as well as the finals. We'll go ahead and finish the entire thing. So let's take a look now at the last bra bracket, the Hudson bracket. We have a bye in the middle of this one. And let's take a look at the first race. Big Poppies F-150, Michael's Diecast Garage Mustang Funny Car, and Mr. Mom's Buick Funny Car. Pickups have not done well today, not, in, not, in, not on this track. I think the top heavy maybe, I'm not sure, but they start off, the funny cars take the lead, the, they get mixed up with the truck and leave him behind. Right now, it looks like the Mustang funny car followed by the Buick funny car to the finish line. Those are first and second. The Ford F50 is in the last. As you can see as they come around the curve here, the Mustang funny car comes off the track, goes back on the track, and then given a push by the Buick funny car, the Probe funny car, sorry. So Mr. Mom actually pushed MBG back into the race. So here we go to the finals or to the elimination round winner advances into the corn. The Buick has the lead right now. If they can hold it together, the Buick will finish first. And he does, the Mr. Mom's Buick funny car or Probe funny car, I'm sorry, keep calling it the Buick, uh, goes first and advances. Here's Mike's F-150 versus 3D Botmaker's uh, 50th anniversary Camaro. See if Mike's truck can be the first to win here today. Down the curve, the Camaro is into the corner first. He negotiates, pinches off the F-150. Now it's a race to the bottom of the track. He's holding the track well, and it looks like 3D Botmaker's 50th anniversary Camaro will advance. Our last race, Dynacast 64's Ferrari F-40, Nick Deaver's F-1 and Red Pill Racing's Jaguar JX2 or XJ220. Here they go into the first corner. The F1 falls behind. The other two mix it up. It looks like, oh, somebody's off the track. Somebody's upside down on the track. Can they get by him? They do. They push by him. The Jaguar XJ220 and Nick Deaver's F1 will go to the final elimination round. Winner advances. The Jaguar does take the lead if he can negotiate, which he does get through turn one into turn two, and both will come down the track if he can hold it together. The Jaguar will advance, and he does. So folks, that's our last set of cars. We have a Probe Funny Car for Mr. Mom. We have 3D Bot Maker's 50th Anniversary Camaro and Red Pill Racing's Jaguar J XJ220 as we see here. So the brackets are finished. Here's a look at the second group of cars. Now, when these cars race, the second place car from every race will go into a lotto to fill the middle spot. We'll explain more this next round. Here is what the points look like after we add the two today for the cars that qualified. Right now, the Fairmont still in first. The Camaro Z28 still there. The T-Bird Stalker still there. The Way Too Fast still there. The Super Snake still there. The Cobra still there. So there's lots of cars that still have a chance because the top car is gonna come out of this with almost 50 points. Here's the second set of cars, third set of cars. And we'll finish out, of course, and show everyone where their cars are at after this race. I think the only person who does not have a car advance is Big Poppy. Imagine that. And we'll look at the last set here. So folks, that's gonna wrap up round one. 
of the Fat Track Free For All. We want to thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe, and join us next week for the finals of the Fat Track Free For All as we wrap up the 2019 Diecast Games. This has been a Big Poppy Racing production.